Last Thursday, I was at McDonald's eating lunch and passing time for my next lecture. And as I was sitting there, five men walked in and they all turned off their phones. And I thought that was weird, because, you know, why the fuck would you turn off your phones like that? But that caught my attention. And I realized one of them had a binder with him that he put on the table. And I could read the text on the binder. It said, Soldiers of Odin, and it was a Swedish flag. And I thought, well, I like North mythology, but I don't think these men are here to discuss a thousand-ish year old religion. And I did a Google search of Soldiers of Odin, and it turns out that my suspicion was correct. Soldiers of Odin is a far-right organization that patrols the streets at night to prevent crime. So, yeah, they were established in Finland by a known Nazi, and lately they've been establishing in other European countries as well, Sweden included. So, from what I can make out, they were sitting a few tables away from me, so I couldn't understand what was said most of I couldn't hear most of what was said. But from what I heard was... Uh, two of them were members, and three of the, the other three were prospective members. They were new members, and they didn't speak. They didn't say anything in the line of you know fucking immigrants. We should just shoot all of them because that's that's what I can find when I did research. That's what people is pretty much think of them. Uh, they said more stuff in the line of you know most nights nothing really happens. We just walk around, but it's still fun. You know, you get to meet new people, stuff like that. Uh, and. Uh, you know, they handed out these papers, and I could read the, t- read the top, it said rules. And I was like, I would like to see that paper. So, uh, while I was already fiddling around on my phone, I zoomed in as much as I could and snapped a picture. It ended up blurry as fuck, but uh, after I did some Photoshop trickery to make it a little sharper, it helped a little. And I'm going to post links to both of them below, just so nobody accuses me of, you know, editing the text. All I did was make it a little bit sharper. Um... Uh, and the rules, you know, mostly normal stuff. It says, like, oh, all leaders has to be... Also, the rules is, the rules are in Swedish, so some, most of my viewers might not be able to read it. But stuff like, oh, all leaders need to be uh, in concurrence with who's a member, and we're not allowed to provoke, you know, we, we need to work with cops. And one of them, however, I found troubling. Because there's a rule, and this one's even in English. It says, what happens in SOO stays in SOO. You should never have a rule like that in your group. Because groups that forbid their members of speaking about what happened in the group usually don't have the best intentions. I mean, SOO, Soldiers of Odin, are speaking on social media and in articles and talking about how, no, 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 we are not a malicious organization. We are not out targeting immigrants. We're just preventing all, we're preventing all crime, not just immigrants. Uh, we're not anti-immigrants. We're critical of immigration. In other words, like, they don't think, uh, they don't dislike individual immigrants, but they're wary of the effects of mass immigration on society, which is a fair stance to have. That's similar to my stance on immigration. But, you know, all this talk about how we're not malicious, you know, we're not not Nazis, we're not fascists. They talk about that, sure, the founder was a Nazi, but that doesn't mean that they're all Nazis. That doesn't reflect on the group as a whole, which is true to a point. Because if a majority of your members have a certain ideology, your group will be linked to that ideology, and there's nothing you can talk, nothing you can do about it. But having a rule like that, saying like, oh, you're not allowed to speak about what happens, it's not, it, doesn't, it doesn't look good. You know, th- that looks really bad. Because, you know, they talk about how uh, they are not allowed to bring weapons on patrol. And if anybody brings some sort of weapon on patrol, then they are, sent, then they are dismissed from the group entirely. But since they're not allowed to talk about what happens in the group, we have no idea of knowing if that's serious or not. They might, that might just be a fucking lie. That, that's speculation. But as I said... That rule creates problems. You should never have a rule like that in a group. The fact that you're trying to convince everybody that you're not malicious, having a rule like that does not help you. But while doing research about the group, I couldn't find any evidence of wrongdoing. I couldn't find anything that would indicate that, you know, they've assaulted some innocent person. I couldn't find anything that they're harassed that they harassed immigrants or I couldn't find anything, any evidence of wrongdoing. Now, I couldn't find anyone saying that they had actually helped them either, but that doesn't mean that that, that doesn't exist. Just like the, the fact that I couldn't find that they didn't harass them didn't mean that it doesn't exist. If anybody has evidence of either, send it to me. I want to see it. You know, I, I want to create a, you know, as valid of a picture as possible. I want to be fair. But there's even an opposition group called uh, Lawyers of Odin that makes fun of this group and they call them Nazis and fascists and whatnot. Uh, they've had two members arrested. I mean, what does that say about a group when the opposition group have members arra- arrested for refusing to cooperate with police and threats against politicians? When you know, nobody 
I, when I couldn't find any evidence that any member had been arrested. Of course, there are a lot of members who have a previous criminal history, which, again, doesn't help the group, considering people think that they're all criminals. But they said, like, oh, no, we believe in giving people second chances. So, okay, fair enough. But I can't find any evidence of any member, any current member, assaulting someone or you know, harassing people. I couldn't find anything like that. So, what do I think of the group? Well, I can't find any evidence that they're doing anything wrong, but I wish they didn't exist. But sadly, there's, they exist for a reason. Mass immigration has seen, with mass immigration, we have seen an increase in crime, while police have less resources. And there's also social pressure on police that if they do anything involving immigrants, they are racist. Like, look at the Rotherham rape scandal. Like, police had known about the, that bunch of pedophile rapists, and they did nothing because they were scared of being called racists, because the, assault, the assailants were Pakistani. I mean, or when Snoop Dogg was arrested, and he accused the cops of being... He, that will happen in Sweden. Snoop Dogg was arrested in Sweden for suspicion of driving high. He had to do a drug test, and then he was free to go. Yet people call the cops racist. People are, oh, no, no, they're so fucking racist. They just arrested him for being black. No, they arrested her for being a known user of marijuana. Which is illegal in Sweden. Like, if you want to change that, that's fine. But that doesn't change the fact that it's illegal. He was not arrested for being black. He was arrested for the suspicion of driving high. So I understand why they exist. I don't want them to exist, but I understand why that they do. This is the sad reality we live in today, where a group like this is fucking necessary. So, until I can find any evidence of wrongdoing from this group, I can't... I, I can't denounce them. I can't say anything bad about them. I, I can't. I wish I could, because I don't want a fucking far-right militia patrolling the streets. But sadly, that's necessary now. Fuck. I mean... And all the far-left people who are upset about this. This is your fault. This is largely your fault, because you are the people who, when women was women were raped in Köln, uh, Köln, in Germany, you called the fucking rape victims racists when they talked about it, about, talked about it, spoke out about it. This is your fault. You are the reason these people exist. Live with that. But if you want to hear more about this, then go to my Tumblr page below. I'm going to link to a post in the description where I speak about this a lot more, uh, with sources and everything. And the reason is, I want to try to keep this short, and this video is already almost 8 minutes long. But I wanted to keep this short, so if you want to read more about it, I have this, I have that post below. So, look me up on social media, and tell me in the comments what you think about this. I'm Nerdy Guy, and 